Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel. Always remember, ignorance of the law excuses no one. This is Legally Engineer. Let's proceed to Application of Payment, Subsection 1. Application of Payment. Another special form of payment. So, Article 1252 ito, okay? Yes. And uh, under Article 1252, ang application of payment, this is the designation of the debt to which should be applied the payment made by a debtor whose various debts of the same kind in favor of one and the same creditor. So, mm -hmm. take note na uh, meron ditong various debts na pinag-uusapan. Kasi kung wala namang multiple debts dito, walang application of uh, payment na pag-uusapan. Kasi kung iisa naman yung obligation, eh, saan mo pa ilalaga? Kasi mm -hmm. iisa naman nga. So, pag may various debts uh, over the same creditor, then pag-uusapan natin ang application of payment. So, yes. there are requisites that are anyway for its application. What are these? Yes. So, first, there must be one debtor and one creditor. Mm -hmm. And pangalawa, there must be two or more debts. Pantatlo, the debts must be of the same kind. Mm -hmm. Fourth, the debts to which the payment made by the debtor has been applied must be due. And the payment made must not be sufficient to cover all the debts. Okay. So, take note of those uh, requisites. So, halimbawa, yes. Tony Oy, um, pwede ba na gamitin mo yung application of payments to... Uh, let's say debts that are not yet due. So, sabi dyan, ang requisite, kailangan daw due and demandable na yung debts. Pero, That's meron tayong goal. exceptions. Unless, and, unless first, there is a stipulation that the debtor may so apply. Uh, stipulation na naman. Mm -hmm. Or, it is made by the debtor or creditor as the case may be for whose benefit the period has been constituted. Okay. Okay. So, that's an exception to the general rule. Yes. So, so let's now discuss the rules on applications of payment. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, a debtor who has uh, several different debts may make part payment. Yes. As to which debt is paid, the rule are as follows. First, first. the debtor has the first choice. Yeah. That was the first choice, he must indicate at the time of making payment and not afterwards, okay? Nung nagbabayad si debtor, kailangan sabihin niya, alin dun sa mga utang niya, ilalagak yung payment. Kasi requisite nga dito, for example, I am the debtor, hmm. you are the creditor. So, isang debtor, isang creditor lang. And ako, as a debtor, marami akong utang kay attorney Marali. Hmm. So, and yung utang ko, lahat siya is, for example, sum of money. Mm -hmm. Para pareho. Oh, oh, oh. Tapos, um, the debts are due and demandable. Mm -hmm. And yung ibabayad ko sa kanya must not be sufficient to cover all my debts. Alright, so let's give an example as regards to application mm -hmm. of payments. Attorney Uy, mm -hmm. halimbawa, si debtor D owes the creditor C as follows. Mm -hmm. Una, may utang siya na, let's say, 1,500 pesos which is payable on September 5. Yes. Okay. Oh. And then, he has another debt, 1,200 pesos payable on September 20. Yes. And then, a specific, uh, let's say, horse, horse. worth um, 10,000 pesos to be delivered on September 20. Yes. And, uh, let's say, 1,000 pesos payable on October 15. Mm -hmm. So, iisa-isahin natin ito. Okay. okay. So, on September 20, si debtor nagbayad siya ng, let's say, 1,500 pesos. Now, ano yung pwedeng gawin ni debtor as regards yes. application of payment? Yes. So, the debtor may apply the 1,500 to debt A, mm -hmm. yung 1,500, or to debt B, to a portion of debt A. Okay. So, kasi 1,500, pwede daw, yung 1,500 na ibabayad ni debtor, pwedeng i-apply ni debtor dito sa utang niya na 1,500, the exact amount. Mm -hmm. O kaya naman, kung ayaw niya doon, pwede na niyang i-apply kay debt B, mm -hmm. yung 1,200 payable on September 20. Mm -hmm. Kasi yun ang due, due pa lang eh, itong A and B pa lang oh, yung due. Oh. So, doon pa lang niya pwedeng i-apply. 1,200, so may tira pang 300. Yung balance sa 300, pwede niyang i-apply doon kay letter A. Mm -hmm. O, 
na 1,500. Yes, so, but can it be applied attorney or dun sa utang niya na 1,000 pesos payable on October 15? Hindi pa kasi sabi natin kailangan ang debts ay due and demandable para mag magamit natin yung application of payment. How about dun sa specific course worth uh, 10,000 pesos, pwede niya bang i-partial payment? Oo. So, isa sa requisites ng application of payment, kailangan the debts must be of the same kind. Mm -hmm. Ay ito is delivery of a horse. Specific horse. Oo, oh, oh. so delivery of a thing. So, hindi, hindi applicable sa kanina application. Yung sa letter C. Okay. okay. However, if uh, the debtor attorney Uy paid only 1,000 pesos, mm -hmm. In that case, can he choose to apply the payment to the 1,500 pesos na utang niya? So, ang sagot dyan is no. Because he cannot choose to apply his payment to the 1,500 debt because he cannot be compelled to receive partial payments. Ay, due and demandable na kasi yun. Mm -hmm. Tapos, ang gusto niya ay 1,000 lang ang ibabayad. Eh, hindi hindi pwede. pwede. Kung kanina pwede, 1,500. Kasi more than, That's exact right. siya kay A and more than siya kay B. Mm -hmm. Eh, ipapasukan nyo pa rin nung, ano, nung principle natin na ang payment should be complete. Yes. Hindi pwede ang partial payment. Mm -hmm. eh, in this case, yun yung demandable na yung 1,500. So, 1,000 pesos cannot be uh, paid and compelled the creditor to accept it. Okay. So, that's that's as regards application of uh, payment sa subsection 1. Mm -hmm. no? Ngayon, kung tayo sa subsection 2, payment yes. by session. Yes. Ano ba yung uh, article 1255 ito guys? Ano ba yung payment by session? So, payment by session is another special form of payment. It is the assignment or abandonment of all the properties of the debtor for the benefit of his creditors in order that the latter may sell the same and apply the proceeds thereof to the satisfaction of their credits. So, this is another form of payment. No? Special form of payment. Again, it's an assignment or abandonment of, of all. all uh, lahat ng so, may pagkakaiba ito kay Dacian in payment. Mm -hmm. Kasi sinabi dito, of all the properties of the debtor, kay Dacian, not necessarily all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, let's um, proceed with the requisites. Yes. Ano ba ang payment? requisites ng payment by session? Yes. Una, there must be two or more creditors. The debtor must be partially insolvent. Mm -hmm. The assignment must involve all of the properties of the debtor. And the session must be accepted by the creditor. Mm -hmm. So, doon pa lang makikita natin ang difference. Mm -hmm. Doon naman sa application of payment. Sa application of payment, one debtor, one creditor. Mm -hmm. Dito naman sa payment by session, two creditors. Two or more. Mm -hmm. Kailangan din insolvent ang debtor. Partially insolvent. Mm -hmm. And kailangan it involves the property of all the property of the debtor and it must be accepted by the creditor. Citation nga, sabi kanina, does not necessarily involve all the properties of the debtor yes. uh, while in session. It extends all, to all the properties of mm -hmm. the debtor subject to execution. So, so take note of the differences, uh, okay, the distinction between the and payment and, and payment, uh, by, payment session. by session. Okay, ano ba muna, attorney Oy, yung effect of payment by session? So, unless there's stipulation to the contrary, the assignment does not make the creditors the owners of the property mm -hmm. of the debtor. And the debtor is released from his obligation only up to the net proceeds of the sale of the property assigned. So, in other words, the debtor is still liable if there is a balance. Pero kung sobra naman... Hindi, ano pa rin, entitled to the, to, the, uh, to the balance, uh, to the excess. So, for example, attorney you see that or D is indebted mm -hmm. to several creditors. So, sabi natin, there must be two or more creditors. So, in yes. the example we're giving, si debtor is indebted to several creditors yes. in the total amount of, let's say, 2 million pesos. Mm -hmm. His assets are not sufficient to pay all his debts. So, ring a bell kapag hindi sufficient yung... Uh, uh, assets niya to pay mm -hmm. all his debts, then that person is insolvent. insolvent. So, partial insolvent mm -hmm. in this case. And uh, with the consent of the creditors of D, mm -hmm. ano ang pwedeng gawin ni debtor D? So, with the consent of his creditors, the debtor may assign his property to them to be sold to satisfy their credits. Mm -hmm. If the net proceeds of the sale only to Amount sale amount only to 1.5 million 
the debtor is still liable for the balance of 500,000 pesos mm -hmm. unless there is stipulation that the assignment shall be in full satisfaction of all his debts. Mm -hmm. So, take note of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Payment by session. All right. Which so, is dation in payment. Take note of the difference, uh, differences between dation and payment and payment by session. Let's proceed with uh, subsection 3, tender of payment and consignation. consignation. Oh, ito Ayan. naman yung third and fourth uh, type modes of oh, extinguishment okay. of special forms mm -hmm. of payment. Special forms of payment. Uh -oh. So, this is under Report. Article 1256 Report. of the mm -hmm. Civil Code. Please refer to your uh, Code Report. of Provision. What is tender of payment? Muna? So, tender of payment is the act on the part of the debtor of offering to the creditor the thing or amount due. Mm -hmm. It's tender of payment. The debtor must show that he has in his possession the thing or money to be delivered at the time of the offer. Mm -hmm. In tender of payment. Mm -hmm. So, how about consignation? Consignation, of course, is the act of depositing the thing or amount to the proper court when the creditor does not desire or cannot receive it after complying with the formalities required by law. Consignation is applicable when there is a debt or an obligation to pay. It is always judicial and mm -hmm. it generally requires a prior tender of payment which is by its very nature extra judicial. So, kailangan mong tender of payment sa consignation. For a valid consignation. Yes. Because uh, what are the requisites of the valid consignation? consignation. So, first, this is very important. So, ang consignation kasi, in order that the debtor may be released from his obligation by the consignation of the thing or some due, these are the requisites. Mm -hmm. So, first, existence of a valid debt which is, which is due may, may due and demandable debt mm -hmm. pangalawa tender of payment by the debtor and refusal without justifiable reason by the creditor to accept it so the debtor must have offered payment yes, pero must have tendered the must payment tendered. and there is a unjustifiable refusal mm -hmm. by the creditor to accept it mm -hmm. Pangatlo, may previous notice of consignation to persons interested in the fulfillment of the obligation. Mm -hmm. okay. Pangapat, may actual consignation of the thing or some due. Mm -hmm. And the last one, subsequent notice of consignation made to the interested parties. So, merong previous notice of consignation and merong subsequent notice yes. of consignation. So, take note, indispensable itong requisites na ito. Okay? okay. So, halimbawa, attorney ko si debtor, may utang siya kay creditor a sum of money. Okay? Mm -hmm. On the due date of the obligation, si debtor, gusto niya magbayad kay creditor to pay the obligation. However, si creditor ni refuse to accept yung payment without any justifiable reason. Yes. In this case, meron bang remedy si debtor? In this case, this obligation will not be extinguished okay. until he has made a valid consignation. The refusal by the creditor to accept the offer to pay without just cause will not have the effect of payment, but the debtor will be relieved from payment of any interest from the date of tender. Mm -hmm. okay. So, ano lang yan guys eh? You have to be... Uh, you have to be informed about this kasi kung halimbawa ikaw ay debtor tapos may creditor um, on the due date gusto mo magbayad di ba? halimbawa may unjustifiable refusal um, creditor mo to ayaw receive lang your payment accept. ayaw niya lang for mm -hmm. no reason at all mm -hmm. magiging anxious ka about it kasi the fact na hindi niya hindi ka makapagbayad on that date pwede ka maging liable for ano eh, breach, di ba? Kasi yes. pwede ka maging liable for damages, magbabayad yes. ka pa ng interest yes. from mm -hmm. the time that it has become due and demandable. So, nakita yan ng batas. So, what the law provided is a remedy for debtors who are willing to pay on the day that their obligations uh, uh, fall for due. Mm -hmm. And so, what they should do is that to make a tender of payment mm -hmm. and then uh, in the event that the creditor would still refuse to accept it, uh, make a valid consignation in court. Yung sinabi kanina na attorney, or dun sa example natin, kung halimbawa, uh, nirefuse niya, mm -hmm. nag-tender of payment ako, di ba? So, hindi porket nag-tender of payment na ako sa creditor, ay marirelieve na ako from uh, the payment, payment. of... Uh, let's say, uh, yeah, from the payment. Uh -oh. So, what I should do is I go to court and make a 
uh, judicial uh, consignation yes, of the payment. Kung may utang ako ba kaya turn uwi na 10,000 pesos, ayaw niyang tanggapin. Mm -mm. Punta ako sa court. Sa court ko ibibigay ngayon yung 10,000 pesos. Yes, yung, Pero dapat mag-apply sa, sa, sa custody, custody ng court. Ng court mm -hmm. okay? So, ang mangyayari lang dyan guys, kung halimbawa nag-tender of payment ka pero yes. hindi ka nag-consignation, uh, Ang sabi ng batas, ang pwede lang na ano na magagaganan siya mo doon is hindi ka na liable to pay, pay interest. interest only. Interest only oh, oh. from the time that uh, the you tendered, you tendered the, payment. the payment. So the best pa rin talaga is tender of payment then consignation. consignation. Kaya magkasama yan eh sa special forms of payment. And you cannot have consignation unless you have a valid tender valid prior oh, oh. Uh, prior tender, tender of, of payment. Ayun. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there are instances, attorney, Uy, when tender of payment is not required kasi. Yes, so in the cases mentioned in the second paragraph of Article 1256, mm -hmm. tender of payment is not necessary before the debtor can consign the thing due mm -hmm. with the court. Mm -hmm. So there are also instances when uh, prior tender of payment may be dispensed with. Kailan kaya yan? Mm -hmm. So nandun yun sa second uh, paragraph mm -hmm. of Article 1246, yun yung when the creditor is absent or unknown or does not appear at the place of payment. Oh, so, Hindi mo about. Oh, oh, so, yun. Pwedeng wala nang prior tender of payment before consignation. Pangalawa, when the uh, creditor is incapacitated to receive payment at the time it is due. <laughs> mm. Kasi alam mong invalid ang maging payment uh -oh. mo kapag din mo itetender. Yes. Incapacitated so, when without so. just cause, he refuses to give a receipt. The, the creditor refuses to give a receipt without just cause. So, kahit walang uh, prior tender of payment, you can uh, directly go to the court to consign mm -hmm. the thing due. Mm -hmm. And yung pangapat, when two or more persons claim the same right to collect. Mm -hmm. So, kumbaga, nalilito ka kung ano ko babayad. Or may two persons claiming at the name of right, the so creditor. So, you may... Uh, consign it. Uh -oh. Consign it without prior tender of payment. Let the court decide. Yes. Yung panglima, when the title of the obligation has been lost. Mm -hmm. So, uh, take note of those uh, exceptions. Uh, those are the instances when tender, tender of, of payment, payment is, is not, not required. required for valid consignation. Yes. Okay. So, let's uh, proceed. More likely, bago rin sa pandinig ng uh, mga nakikinig yung consignation. So, attorney, uy, by practice, paano ba ginagawa itong consignation na ito? So, uh, Under article, ano ba yan? Under article 1258. Mm -hmm. So, nakalagay doon, consignation shall be made by depositing the things due at the disposal of the judicial authority mm -hmm. before whom the tender of payment shall be proved in a proper case and the announcement of the consignation in other cases. The consignation having been made, the interested parties shall also be notified thereof. So you should uh, consign it with the proper judicial authority. You cannot consign it to, let's say, your barangay chairman, uh, sa mayor, judicial authority. Court. 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 Yes. And of course, with the corresponding notices so prior to and, and subsequent, subsequent uh, to the consignation. Okay.